there are some who are into school just because they want to be richer or they want to become wealthier so that they might go back and work at, at the job place and be given promotion etc i'm talking to these people i'm talking to these people who believe that they have to get more education to be promoted they have to get more education to get more work it is never the case It, this might sound weird in some people's ears. For years, they have believed that they have to have a lot of education to the secondary school, they've gone to university, and they are um, first degree and the second degree. Now, others are even pursuing doctoral. Uh, it is all good, it's all in the right direction. But what I'm trying to let all of you know is that pursuing education doesn't necessarily bring a lot of wealth to you. There is nobody who did a lot of education is very wealthy but nobody um, i say this with full 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 authority as a full authority on this i'm saying education when you have so much of it will rather uh, limit the, the kind of money you create in this world the, the wealth you create within the, this world so when you get education to some level the next thing you do is you put yourself you put the nose to the grind you have to get busy you have to get busy in creating what you have to do there are, um, when, you, when you look at the world as it, as it is now, there are people who are um, doctorate, they have masters and setting that do not really bring wealth. How can somebody, a classical person, who is somebody who's read classics at a university, um, have so much money? The, the thing is that, you see, you spend too many years, this, this, this world is more about doing. Do it, make mistakes, correct yourself. Yes, as time goes on, you should have a mentor. A mentor is not a lecturer. A mentor is not somebody who keep on telling you without even guiding your hand as to do, as to what you want. No, a mentor is a person who would actually, who has actually lived what you're living now, or lived something similar to what you're living now, and a person can help you go out and go look for a mentor. Do not think about going to school several years, spending so many years, four years, five years, six years, all in the comfort of a classroom, hoping to become very rich. You're not going to be rich listening to lecturers. Not at all. The, the funny thing is that we become those who listen to a lot. So it's natural, as you can see, most most people who've gone to a lot of school are very, as, as poor as the professors who teach them. So it's like that. Look out for a, a proper mentor who would guide you, who would move you towards uh, reaching a, a, a proper aims and not uh, going to school for, for so many years. As I'm talking right now, I believe there are some people who are still in school. They are, their level of let's say they are doing their masters they've done their first degree they are doing their masters and they might think that I, I i am hurting their feelings or something but what i want them to know is that look the education thing is not what will give you the satisfaction you want there are some who, who get some intellectual satisfaction yes there are some who are into school just because they want to be richer or they want to become wealthier so that they might go back and work at, at the job place and be given promotion etc i'm talking to these people i'm talking to these people who believe that they have to get more education to be promoted they have to get more education to get more work it is never the case you, you you're rather putting yourself into slavery you're putting yourself into a bondage when the more education you, you, you get just you have to relax get to work uh, whatever uh, field you, you you started in after a number of years, I believe you've had enough exposure to make something out of it. If it is, um, if it is let's say economics, it, there should be a point where now this economics you've learned, it's something you're using to create more work for yourself and for others. And this world has this, uh, this world now, if you really want to make it, is when you're providing value for others. So when you've attained a certain skill or a certain knowledge and you're not sharing it with others or you're not showing to others how valuable that is to them then surely you're going to have to be suffering you're going to stay a long while being poor so that is the fact do not think too much that when you go to school then suddenly you gain prop, uh, um, a higher status than everybody tell you most, most people who go to school and spend a lot of time become middle class. They don't become the, those who, who own property. They be, don't become those who are the, the rich class or the, uh, the highest social class. The highest social class are people who, who've been in money for a long time. Apart from that, too, they, they are those who created jobs and created work for most people. And such people are, are the rich. Uh, so if you really want to be rich and you want your, those who come after you to also be rich or to enjoy from the riches, 
Stop this education thing. Stop this long education and put yourself to work. Whatever skills you gain right now, use it. Use it as best as you could. Learn from it. Make your mistakes. It's normal to make mistakes. Make mistakes. Get up. Move on. As time goes on, you will learn and you become better at um, this life of wealth creation. So, education is not paralyzed. Having a lot of education, what I've also come to realize is education rather gives you a mindset of um, uh, being too judgmental. You, you, you become too judgmental. You tend to see the mistakes in others' work. You tend to see the problems all around you. But what you don't tend to have is the ability to solve them. And that is the problem of education in the third world countries or education in our world. I'm saying that, look, you need proper, proper things in your mind. And that is solutions to problems. So when you're out there and you feel like, good, you should really get some education, then get solutions. Huh? Learn how to solve people's issues. You should not spend time solving people's issues. And that is hardly learned in schools. That is hardly learned at university or learned at uh, uh, spending so many years in school. No, not at all. You go out there, you face the world and the mistakes, the correction, lots of information, lots of resources that you can find online that can help you. And you don't necessarily have to sit in front of somebody to, to listen to the person's trash. Excuse me to say. <laughs> Excuse me to say. To listen to all that he have to say. You can have books all around. You can have uh, resources online. And all this will help you. Education makes you too skeptical. Education makes you too skeptical. You, you, you tend to feel like nothing is going well in this world. In this world. It, <laughs> like I said earlier, it opens your eyes to but I see problems. Somebody is doing well. You look at it and you're able to, to see that. You, you, you like, well, and you be judging. You're like, this person is not going anywhere. As if you, you can now tell the future, which is the problem. Education gives you the ability to see things not as they are. Because reality is reality and what, what you're told will happen is prediction is prediction. Life is unpredictable in certain times, in certain ways that education can. Do not always expect to get answers from the education you've had. You have to go um, to shake the system a bit. You do things to attain uh, a better life. Being skeptical, you just keep sitting down, your hands, your, your hands crossed in front of you, believing that nothing is very possible in this world. Yes, that's being skeptical. And that's what education gives you. That's what I'm... So, to free yourself from this skepticism, I believe you should leave education. Live again enough from it. Usually, when you've had a degree, first degree or something, or even when you've gone to secondary school, leave education alone. Now, concentrate on working. Concentrate on actual life and do something great with your life. That's what I'll tell you to do. Finally, finally, I think education puts a lot of appearance against reality. And education puts a lot of value on appearance than on reality. You will see somebody, if the person is sick, what would you need to get well? What would you need to get well? Somebody will say, I have to um, go through the person, take samples, go and uh, go to the laboratory, check and check and check and check. However, there are people there. There are people who are healed by faith. They, they just listen to your problems. You say so, so, and so, and they heal you according to your faith. You see, it's the same thing. Uh, you, you go to a person and you and ask, how do I make money? They say, go and learn this skill and get money. No! How to make money is to get money. That is all. And you are told this by people who have not, are not even educated. Um, this obsession about education, which most people in the third world country keep following. Education blinds you to what reality is. And reality is being out there, facing the world as it is, making your mistakes, correcting them, and moving on to better yourself, to better levels. And that is what I will have to tell you. So if you are having education and today, you think that is your all in all. What I'm trying to let you know is that if you're passing too many years of your life getting educated, stop it. Formal education, being in uh, a, a close, a close environment, an enclosed environment, that is a school, and trying 
to gain so much knowledge. I'm telling you, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your life. Forget the degrees. Get to work. Get to work. If right now you've finished secondary school and gone to university, you've finished first degree, you've completed first degree, and you're out there and you're believing that when you have to you go back to school to get a master's or to get a doctorate is what is going to make you rich. I'm telling you, you're going to be on the wrong path. You are on the wrong path. Education is just going to give you a job. Education is just going to give you a job. Uh-huh. Because you're spending most of your fruitful years in school, attaining, gaining knowledge. Knowledge that with time wouldn't even be useful. Why would you get to it? Get to life. Do what's most important. Learn the skills and use the skills. Make your mistakes and learn from them. And move on. That's all I'm saying. Have a good day. If you love this content, remember to like and share with me your mindset on the commentary box. Have a wonderful day.